नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम है सौरभ आप देख रहे हैं मैकेनिकल गुरु जी चलिए शुरू करते हैं हेलो एवरीवन वॉचिंग फर्स्टली अ वेरी हैप्पी गणेश चतुर्थी टू एवरी वन वॉचिंग एंड लुक एट दिस फैंटेस्टिक व्यू एंड दिस फैंटेस्टिक बीस इट इज फाइनली हियर आवर महिंद्रा थार इज हियर आफ्टर टेन मंथस ऑफ वेटिंग वी गॉट दिस कार ऑन द थर्टी ऑफ ऑगस्ट एंड इट्स फाइनली हियर सो आई हैव बीन ड्राइविंग दिस व्हीकल सिंस मॉर्निंग वी वेंट टू अ कपल ऑफ फ्रेंड्स हाउसेज फॉर गणेश एंड वी आई हैव I have a rough feel of what this car is. So let's do a quick first impressions and walk around of the car. Let's see how the car is and let's find out the things about the car together. So this is how it looks from all the sides. This is our rear shot. Now the car is a bit it's a bit dirty because we took it to the beach. No, we did not take it to the beach. The wheels are not dirty. The wheel arches are not dirty because we did not take it to the beach. We drive very safely. We drive very uh, purposefully. No fooling around. It's got 18-inch rims with 255. Wait, let's find out. It has 255, 65 or 18 wheels. These are MRF Wanderers, and these are very good tires. I I love the thread on this. tire this car also comes with a ciat tire but i wouldn't prefer the ciats over the mrf i don't know it's just a personal choice and the ciats to me they look kind of boring these look purposeful these look like proper uh, all terrain tires and these are quite good tires so the car comes with disc brakes in the front and drum brakes at the back the brakes on this car are quite nice the these aren't the sharpest brakes that i have ever used in a car these have more of a progressive feel to it you need to press it hard uh, for the car to actually come to a good stop but it's good uh for for a car of this stature and this size and this ladder frame chassis i think these are a good braking system now let's go inside let's take a quick look on the inside of the car so this is how it looks from the inside a bit dirty because we did not go to the beach and we did not fool around uh okay these are the top panels okay mostly mostly everywhere in the car it's hard plastic so hard plastic hard plastic good good feeling steering this has uh, this is not very chunky and it's very good to grip so okay hard plastic hard plastic but i think mahindra has done a very good job even while having hard plastics because it gives a very rugged utilitarian look and feel to the car and for the for the thar i think it's quite good xuv scorpio they will ha they have different materials they are very posh materials but for this car this is good now i'll get the keys from out of my pocket give me a second ah Mahindra gives a flip key and lock unlock and if you press this button it tells it just screams pick 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 that's it so our car right here it's a diesel manual with a manually locking 4x4 system so the engine of this car makes roughly 130 bhp of power and 320 newton meters of torque quite good it's 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 got enough power to overtake it's got uh, enough power to cruise at 100 kph on the highways and decent and it's a decent decently tuned engine this is the same engine that is used in the mahindra xuv uh, 700 the scorpio n and the thar but uh, all the three vehicles are at different uh, state of tune so this is the car that is producing the least amount of torque and power the highest is the xuv 700 because that does require that amount of torque and power for the size of the car and uh Yes. Uh overall first impressions I'm quite impressed. I am quite happy with the car because this is a fantastic car. We'll do a proper video of the car in a few days. Right now, let's just enjoy this magnificent view. This magnificent car and take a goodbye. So, thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening, night, morning wherever you're watching, whenever you're watching. Bye-bye.